Kings Mountain has won the toss and is elected to defer. Getting it started right here. Jam Robinson comes out the box with the trick play on the reverse. Dominic Testa, number five with a nice gain right there. That's going to set up LJ Smooth Watson on the touchdown run with a nice opening drive. The Jam Robinson Bulldogs take a 6-0 lead over Kings Mountain as uh, Smooth gets his celebration on right there. Talented young man. All right, Kings Mountain coming back. Little... Flare pass to the sideline. It's considered a lateral. Linebacker Miles Hudson picks it up for the Bulldogs, runs it in for the touchdown. And the Robinson Bulldogs are really off to a strong start with a 13 0 lead over Kings Mountain. And the sentiment was that Kings Mountain just seemed like they were kind of sleepwalking early on in this game. Right here. Eli Lipscomb tries to get him going right there with that nice tackle for loss. But right here, freshman Ennis Styles comes back with a nice run up the middle for a first down. He ended up with um, 120 rushing yards on the game. As you see right there, at the end of the first quarter, it's 13 0. Bulldogs lead over the Mountaineers, and the crowd is really behind their guys. Right here, there's Dominic Chester once again on the uh, quick pass from quarterback John Bissonette. Runs it in for the touchdown, and they are dominating play right now, up 20 to nothing. King Mountain trying to find something. Quarterback TJ Armstrong over the middle finds his receiver Jaden Gash for a nice game. However, doesn't lead to anything. Bulldogs come back with the ball, and there's that man number again, number 11, LJ Smooth Watson busting out the backside on the zone play with a nice game, setting up Bissonette. He's a really good dual threat quarterback. Finds his uh, receiver, Dominic Chest, on the run right there. Getting it down deep in the red zone. But right here, missing it on the carry. Fumbles, and it's recovered by Kings Mountain right there on the two-yard line. That's Eli Lipscomb on that recovery. He was all over the field on defense for the uh, Bulldogs. But doesn't go anywhere. Dominic Chest gets it back. Runs it in right here for the short touchdown run from five yards out. 27-0. J.M. Robinson all over Kings Mountain. A lot of people did not expect this to happen. But it's going down. Right before the halftime, Armstrong finds big time bobbers with Will Vaughn on the catch over the middle. They're trying to get something right before the half. Pressure gets to Armstrong, though. He's taken down. Fumble. No points before halftime. And you see right here at half, Jam Robinson up big, 27 nothing over Kings Mountain. Now third quarter, Bissonette, he's gonna find his big time receiver Brian Rowe on the catch and run right here. Um, it's a first down, but it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, Kings Mountain gets the ball back, Armstrong over the middle. There's Jaden Gash once again who had several nice catches in this game for the Mountaineers. Armstrong again, he finds Will Vaughn over the middle. Um, the Mountaineers trying to get something going here in the late in the third quarter. They're moving the football. Armstrong on the play fake. Finds Vaughn again over the middle. Touchdown. Kings Mountain gets on the board. It's now 27-7. Kings Mountain trying to mount a comeback here. Now on defense. Missing that. He finds Xavier Burnett on the outside. With a nice move on uh, the corner right there. But good defense. Forces a fumble. Jaden Gash recovers it and runs it back into Bulldog territory. We're early in the fourth quarter. Kings Mountain trying to get some momentum going right here. Nice play call. Shovel pass to Eli Lipscomb. He's going to get the touchdown. It's 27-14. And at this point, he started to feel some momentum swinging towards the Mountaineers. Early in the fourth quarter. They still had time. 
However, Jim Robinson with a really good drive, capped off by this John Bissonette quarterback touchdown run, makes it 34-14. And the Bulldogs are going to cap it off with this interception right here. Beautiful play. They're going to end up winning that 41-14, and they're going to move on to the third round and face Dudley in a rematch from last season next week.